What's up guys, this is Cher talking. welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'll show you how I did Final Island for this week. And this time we had two different stages, week 2 slash. And in my past runs I used some of the same characters, so this time I had to be a little more creative and use different squads. The same happened with the third stage where I finally changed my setup. So let's talk about the first one. The enemies are week 2, only Sun on the first wave and then Slash and Sun on the second and Slash and Sun on the third. Well, they don't have that much HP. This is not a hard stage and you can bring actually a combination of two uh, three characters. Here I have the Amazon Red X formation. I place it a second welfare version of Princess Lion, the front line with floating juggernaut. This is a triple S AoE attack. She's going to kill the boss. But the first character to attack will be Fire Impress with her Christmas Moon. That is enough to kill the frontal enemies if you have a strong weapon for her. Like here I have an almost perfect one. And then uh, we have Antonius. Antonius is going to do damage with the second. If you don't need the Remembrance's word I just brought because I have enough. So uh, you can even bring the second version of Antonius inheriting Dwarver in plus. That would do even more damage. And in the back line, I brought my Madeline because she buffs slash damage and Leon because he buffs slash and some damage via passives. So this will be solved in only three actions. It's probably the easiest stage so far. These enemies don't even have 100,000 HP. Now here on the second, they are even aligned in a row, so other characters will also work here. But while we win plus, it's even critical against the enemies in the back. See, we're doing 150,000 damage with a free character. Now it's all about the frontal unit in the Amazon Red X formation, that is my Princess Lion, and she's going to do plenty of damage with Floating Juggernaut, allowing her to solo the wave. With only three actions, we're gonna get the max score. Moving on, the second stage is week to slash and quote. But when you look, first wave it's week to boat, then the second wave has some mixed bag, some enemies are only week to code, some other ones are only week to slash, and then in the last one we have week to slash and code again. The good thing is that the first and the third wave has enemies aligned in a colo, so you can use Waterfall Blade Plus, but my Empress was already used it and she's my strongest Waterfall Blade user. Those with Soji will do plenty of damage here, they should use him. Since I don't have any other one that I want to use, uh, I actually use it a very different strategy this time. I am showcasing Halloween Silver with her Storm Roar Plus. Yes, I increased that to 10 because I want her to attack on the first and third wave only. It's gonna do a lot of damage, but I do have the Remembrance's Word allowing her to kill even the enemies that are not weak to cold. Then we have Rick, he's going to do so much damage against the second wave and he's going to solo even with Flame Frenzy. He's using the Remembrance's Word, I don't know if it's really required, but it also helps. And I brought any character that does slash damage in the front lane to help out a little if I need against the boss wave. Okay, since in the first wave they are weak to cold, well, the damage is gonna be pretty, pretty impressive. 140,000. Now on the second is all about Rick. You can also use Arthur on the second wave. He can also kill all of them. He's going to use two actions instead. Now versus the boss stage, we have Storm Roar doing plenty of damage again. boss is still alive and, well, Rick just finished it with his Heaven on Earth attack. That was just four actions. Max score. Now the last stage is the one week to mm, only Shadow on the first wave, only Shadow in the second wave, and then the boss is weak to Shadow. Heat and Pierce. So this is one of the hardest one. I have been using Bertrand and Eagle Maul to kill the first and second wave because his enemies have uh, around 120,000, the Dancer. So this time I actually did a different squad. Well, this one is actually pretty nice and some people may have easiness using this one. If you have the Remembrance Gun, you have Talon, you can just use laser cannon on the first wave and kills all the enemies with a fast attack. And then you can inherit Proton Rocket, since the boss is weak to heat, it's gonna do plenty of damage. So Talon is one of the best characters here. 
Then you can bring the Christmas Noel, many people has because of the Christmas Empress. And he's going to use Twilight Flash on the second wave to kill one of the enemies. Then we have the Halloween version of Death with the inheritance of Flash of Death. Mine is not even maxed. And this is going to kill one of the other enemies on the second wave. And then the combined strength of everyone will kill the boss. Well, I brought Saru in here just to increase 10% damage to shadow attacks. Rock Bouquet is here, but you don't need her. But you can also use her to kill the boss if you need. Formation is Rainbow Rangers. Okay, so uh, we will not run full auto because we have to be sure that Talon goes first. After that, we can turn on full auto. Because Halloween... Uh, Death has a very high agility. If you don't do this, it's going to go before Talon all the time. Now, you're going to use single target attacks. Halloween Death is doing 124, just a little more than than 120k they have, but again, my skill is not maxed. Now we are fighting against the boss, and Halloween Death will use another Flash of Death. If your Noah trigger his passive, he's going to attack again. He just triggered, so Twilight Flash again, it's very good damage. And someone else is going to finish. Either Talon or Rock Bouquet in this case. So that's a different strategy compared to the one I was using so far. And with six actions, so max score as well. With that, I hope this can help you with your run. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't. And if you want to support the channel, please use the links on the description, become a member, or use the PayPal button. And don't forget to join our Discord server, where we talk about Saga Universe and all other games in general. Hope to see you soon in the next video. Bye.